bring in one lesson 10. This will be the last uh, concluding lesson of Korean one. 몇 명쯤 와요? How many people are coming? This lesson is uh, mostly around uh, numbers, counting and counters at the number system for Korean. Um, as we have introduced this concept, you have native Korean numbers and Sino Korean numbers in um, the Korean number system. Uh, native Korean numbers are only from one to 99, Sino Korean numbers uh, zero and above. And conceptually, native Korean numbers are mostly for counting things, quantities, and Sino Korean numbers are uh, ordinal numbers or um, they are uh, number as concepts identity, like, you know, giving phone numbers or your credit card numbers and your ID number, um, saying if you are in the first, second, third or fourth grade, floor number, room number, you get the idea. There are some counters. Uh, if it, so there are some Sino Korean counters, um, you know, well, they're Sino uh, counters because um, if the counter is such as inbun, inbun, person's portion, and Sino means it's of Chinese uh, origin, then you use a uh, Sino Korean number. You know, this is, it's not used often, but you go to a Korean barbecue and you know you all have to agree on uh, getting a Korean barbecue if it's especially all you can eat. And they will ask you uh, the, you know, uh, inbun eo, how many people's portion? And you answer inbun, inbun, saminbun, because inbun is a uh, person's portion is Sino Korean word, Sino Korean counter. Uh, but generally, like 90, I would say 99% of the time, native Korean number you use only for counting things off. Uh, you know, when you are talking about quantity of things, Sino Korean uh, for, um, you know, number as, uh, you know, identity or ordinal numbers. And Korean too, we're going to learn how to, uh, it starts off with uh, how to tell time. And a lot of fun because hour is a native Korean number and um, minute is in Sino Korean number. So let's just review quickly. Um, native Korean numbers are 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열, 아홉, 열. And um, as promised, uh, 2 is 둘 does not sound anything like 스물, 20 in native Korean number. 셋, is three in native Korean number. Sudden is 30. Okay, close enough. And four and 40 does not sound like each other at all. Net is four. Mahun is 40. Tasot is five in native Korean number. 50 in native Korean number is shin. Yasot is uh, six. Yesun is 60. Okay, seven, a eh, little similar. Ilgop is seven. Iren is 70. Yadal is 88 and 80 is yodun and ahop is nine and ahun is 90 and once it is 99 and ahop uh we don't have any more native korean numbers and we use sino korean number uh peck and above okay and um zero is either young or kong and i also often have English speakers, they uh, confuse uh, O with zero because we say O in English uh, for zero, but O in um, Korean is five. So numbers beyond 10, um, you have 10 and then 10 of 10 is pek and then 10 of 100 is chan, and this is where we get confused. We don't have a name, a uh, separate name for 10,000. We just say 10,000 and then we add another zero. But we do have a name for 10,000 in uh, Sino Korean um, number system, which is man. And then it's after that, the Koreans just say shin man because we don't have a um, name for that 100,000. Um, and 100,000 is 
you know, it's 100,000, but in Korean, it's shipman. And then uh, we have million, which is pegman in uh, Sino Korean. 10 million is chunman, is chunman, thousand, um, thousand, ten thousand. 10,000. And 100 million in um, Sino Korean is ok. So one to 50 in sign up number, very easy, very systematic. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 20 is like saying 2, 10, 20. 30 is 3, 10, 4, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 50, and so forth. And everything between you say 23, 23, 2, 10, 3. Uh, 37 would be 3, 10, 7, so forth. Very systematic, very logical, and so forth and so forth, right? Up to peg. Native Korean numbers, it's going to be a struggle because you go to uh, 10, um, 10, and then 20. You have to memorize all of the pen digits of native Korean numbers for this lesson. 20 is smur, 30 is horun. 40 is mahun, 50 is shin, 60 is yesun, 70 is ihun, 80 is yodun, 90 is ahun, and then you have ahun, ahob, 99, and pek. Goes up to 99. Native Korean number goes up to 99. So when you all have quantity of things, some things are expressed with native numbers and some with sino Korean numbers. Things that typically easily go over 100, you use sino Korean numbers. Um, we say uh, US dollar is either pul or dalo, dalo. Okay. And then Korean monetary unit is one. We use Sino Korean for both because they can easily go over a unit of 100 or more. Um, and biot is a question word for quantity or a specific number. Um, or how much? how much uh, dollar um, or one do you have? All my is just how much, how much do you have? Okay, how much do you have? You can say ton all my ton is money. How much money do you have? 188 불, 188 달러 있어요. It's, you can use either one. 불 is a uh, um, Sino-Korean for dollar. Um, I have a uh, hundred eighty-eight dollars. Man, you can on soil, and yeah, Korean monetary system. Thousand is thousand one is about a dollar, you guys, more or less. Um, so man one is ten dollars. So, please, uh practice saying one to 99 or one to 99 in um or 100 in well native korean number only goes up to one to 99 so practice reading one to 99 in native korean number and um sino korean numbers um can you read bingo in both sino korean and native korean numbers because they're randomized if you are in Korean 22, this will be one of your daily exercises. Practice reading random numbers uh, in both uh, native Korean and um, Sino-Korean um, numbers, please. It will be much more challenging with native Korean, right? Uh, but just like with phone numbers, it's really important. And if you don't know how to uh, listen to numbers, you guys. You can't play bingo in Korean. If you are in my hybrid class, that's the highlight of Korean 1. We play bingo and um, you get big prizes. That's only for, um, that's only bonus for hybrid classes uh, when you attend in person. Uh, using native Korean numerals, um, 
so you use you know that's a big part of Korean life. So you cannot just say ah I I'll you know just make do with Sino Korean numbers because when we count things, um, we use native Korean numbers and we use English for certain things. You know to distinguish whether you know or you're ordering um cup of coffee or uh you know or pitcher of drink um which is a big difference um we have counter for everything in korean everything okay it's okay as we learned in lesson eight to express number of objects without a counter but you know, normally we we use counter actually. It's not wrong grammatically, it's not weird, but it's more natural for heritage speakers to uh, add the um, the counter. So you can say either bagel hana hago coffee to chuseo. Please give me one a bagel and two of coffee. Uh, but you know, normally we say bagel hange hago. Copy two jan or two cup to sale. You know there's something wrong. What happened to hana? Hana became han. It became squished into one syllable. Tul it lost its final consonant. K is a counter for just a lot of general things. If you can't think of, there's no uh, specific category for an item. We use K. Chan it's like a serving of drink. Um, and cup of course it, it's a cup it's a loan word so whenever you have you are actually um counting something with the counter one through four the number gets contracted it either hana becomes han it becomes squished into one uh monosyllabic word and then said net it loses the final consonant and uh then you're asking if these numbers are used with counters anyway, why do you have hana dur sen net? That's like when you count to yourself, you're counting money, you're counting the stars, or you're like uh, bench pressing and you say one, two, three, four. Hana dur sen net, okay? Um, but then when you're saying one of something, two of something, three or four, or four of something, then uh, they become contracted. And this is not only for one through four, but 11 through 14, 21 through, 24 and so forth and so forth. So when there's 11 of something, it's not yal hanage, but yal hange, just like you did with hange, duge, sege, nege, yal tuge, yal sege, yal nege, mike or chan, cup, whenever it's followed by a counter, then one through four becomes han, du, se, ne. But there's more irregular. 20 is the last, we promise. 20 is smooth. And, you know, it's just, it's not so bad. The, only the final consonant drops. It's just smooge. But then it reverses to smooth again. But then 21 through 24 is smooth hange, smooth tuge, smooth sege, smooth lege. We want, we don't want you to say hange, sumu to get wrong. It's sumu is only when it's 20 of something is sumu, and then it reverts back to sumu. And then if it's one through four, sumu hange, sumu tuge, sumu sege, sumu lege. And then everything after that, we promise, is normal. Sumu tasot, yasot. But then one through four, 31 through 34, 41 through uh. 44 would be man hange, man tuge, man sege, man nege, and so forth. Okay. So, what do we use native Korean numbers with? Person, when we count number of people, we say myung, or saram is even okay. Han myung is one person. You use pun. You use pun with uh, teachers, elders, honorific uh, title people. Um, just heads up, pun, we don't want you to confuse. Yes, it's a counter for people, honorific, but it's also for counting minutes in telling time or uh, quantity of time, duration of time. When you're counting animals, the counter is mari. Drinks, it can be chan, cup, or pyong is bottle. Uh, like chan is a serving of drink. Uh, one for volumes. Anything bound, books, uh, magazines, uh, general items, if 
it does not uh, belong to any of these uh, specific you know categories uh, becomes K. I know it's written and pronounced the same for um, what is it a uh, dog, right? Um, but it also is a counter for um, just anything. Most of the things that are not specified for counter. Uh, sheets, uh, flat things, even LP and uh, CDs, you count with tongue, okay? And then when you are telling age, don't worry about this too much um, because we're going to learn how to tell age, ask for age, and tell age in Korean too. Uh, the counter is sal, but that's uh, inappropriate for um, referring to older people's age. 학생이 몇 명, 몇 사람 있어요? 한 명, one person, 두 명, 세 명, 네 명, 다섯 명, 여섯 명, 일곱 명, 여덟 명, 아홉 명, 열 명, 열한 명, 열두 명. There are two, 12 people total. But then 선생님이 학생. So how many students are there? You have 학생 and then 몇 to ask for quantity and then counter and iso to ask how many of something is there. Um, uh, 선생님이 몇분 계세요? Because you're talking about number of uh, teachers, you use 분 as counter and also 계세요, not iso because it's honorific. 한분 계세요, there's one um, person of teacher. Cats have nine lives. 고양이가 몇 마리 있어요? So when you're talking about animals, uh, you say body. So don't count people with body. That would be very offensive, right? Because body is counter for animals, not people. 아홉 마리 있어요. 돼지가 몇 마리 있어요? Um, how many pigs are there? Uh, let's even count the, even if it's not a, a real pig, let's count the piggy bank. Uh, 두 마리 있어요. 두 마리 있어요. Okay. And, um, 커피가 uh, 몇잔 있어요? 커피가 몇잔 있어요? How many um, of uh, coffee are there? Serving of coffee are there? Uh, 여덟 잔 or 여덟 um, 컵 있어요? So uh, you um, have... I just want you to uh, know animals are usually body, but you might hear uh, pil. Pil is, it's a sign of Korean um, counter, but uh, you use it with native Korean number. And uh, I know I just said, if it's a sign of Korean uh, counter, you would use sign of Korean number, but this is an exception. Um, in the old days, horses and animals were very important in agricultural society and horses and um, cows used to have this counter just for them. They were special. Pil, han pil, tu pil, to count um, horses and animals. I mean, horses and cows. Uyuga biatjan isayo. Uyuga biatjan isayo. How many um, glasses of servings of milk? Okay, it can be glass. So tan is uh, is a serving of uh, a drink. 물이 몇병 있어요? How many bottles of water are there? 스물네 병 있어요. Okay, 소주가 몇병 있어요? 소주가 몇병 있어요? There are 스무 병 있어요. Okay, there are 20 bottles and it's not 스물 병, but 스무 병. One, two, three, four. 한, 두, 세, 네. And sumu when it's uh you know uh, followed by a counter. Just this is another side note, you guys. Uh, certain things, even if they're um not intensified or double consonants for uh native Koreans, the tendency is that we like to just intensify certain sounds. Uh so this is soju, soju, but <laughs> It comes out soju to us. It sounds like it's a sangshio, soju, soju. If you're a native speaker, it will sound closer to soju instead of soju, okay? And another word that's like that is fossil. 
Okay. Um, yes, it's Romanized potsu, which is not sangbyeo, but no native Korean says potsu. We say potsu. Hence the problem with jajangmyeon. There's a whole debate about whether jajangmyeon should be written with, you know, a double or just single tooth because um, uh, it, it's a import of um, Chinese culture and it used to be jajangmyeon. When you romanize it, you know, when you put it into Hangul, it should be jajangmyeon. But again, it's so, it's such a Koreana, we say jajangmyeon. And yeah, I think it should be written jajangmyeon too. Volumes of things. Um, going back to the grammar again. 사전이 몇권 있어요? How many volumes of dictionary are there? These are each different ones. So grouped into four. 스무 권 있어요. 책이 몇권 있어요? Count with me. 한 권, 두 권, 세 권, 네 권, 다섯 권, 여섯 권, 일곱 권, 여덟 권, 아홉 권, 열 권, 열한 권, 열두 권, 열세 권, 열네 권, did I miscount? Ah, I think I double counted one twice. Sumur Seguan is there. There's only 23. Okay. Actually, I didn't count the newspaper because newspaper is not found. We say 신문 한 장 because it's flat. Okay, it's not bound. So newspapers are, um, you know, like a edition of newspaper would be 장. Everything else that is does not belong to a specific counter category, please use 제, you, a K, we would be fine. I know hamburgers are onto themselves. Chairs are onto themselves. So it sounds silly to have a um, counter when things are just whole and there's no variation in um, size or or volume, but uh, we need, Koreans need counter for everything, you guys. 햄버거가 몇개 있어요? 햄버거가 일곱 개 있어요, okay? 의자가 몇개 있어요? How many chairs are there? 의자가 열개 있어요. There are 10 of chairs. Yes, you mentioned the thing that you are counting and mentioning the quantity of, and then the number counter and isayo to say there, um, there exists so many of something. 종이가 몇장 있어요? 네장 있어요. Sheets of things. 카드가 몇장 있어요? Cards are flat. And LP and um, the LP records and CDs are flat. 카드가 몇장 있어요? 다섯 장 있어요. They're also used with 장. There are other counters we don't need to know, but might be useful. 과목, subject. 몇 과목을 들어요? Uh, you might be asking, how many subjects are you taking? 두 과목을 들어요. 세 과목을 들어요. I'm taking two, three subjects. 과 is uh, tricky. It's lessons or chapters. But if you answer this question, 몇 과를 공부해요? You have to, we don't know the context of the question because it could be 사 과를 공부해요. When you answer with sign of Korean number, it's an ordinal number. So you, it's saying we uh, study lesson number four. We study the fourth lesson. But this question could also mean how many uh, lessons are you studying? If you answer with 네 과를 공부해요, um, then you would answer, you know, you're answering, we are, uh, you know, studying four lessons. Uh, you can say, 과를 몇 개 공부해요? To clarify, you want quantity, not the lesson number. For large appliances, uh, items, we use 대. Television이 몇대 있어요? Bus, 차, cars, we use uh, 대 to count. 세대 있어요? 여섯 대 있어요? 켤레 is pair. So uh, 두 켤레, even if there's four shoes, two pairs. So 두 켤레 있어요? 
장갑이 몇 켤레 있어요? How many um, gloves? There are two, but it makes a pair. So just 한 켤레 있어요. 한 켤레 있어요. So when you're talking about individual items in a set, it's stuck. None of those socks match up. So you're not saying uh, uh, 몇 켤레 있어요. Because none of them are a match none of them are set uh set so you see they tag so you have four individual ones same thing with the shoes none of them are a pair you just have an item in a set or a pair okay that's why none of them are a pair so we have this expression it means a crush because for love to be um consummated you need a pair but tak, see, you only have a piece, not a kyalle. That's why tak sarang is expression for, uh, it's just one person in love, not a pair. That's why it's, tak um, sarang is a crush in Korean. So then when do you use Sino-Korean numbers? Uh, you know, this is to elaborate what I already mentioned, ordinal numbers. 1학년, we already know this, 2학년, 3학년, 4학년 to designate order. Floors. 층, 1층, 2층, 3층, 4층. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. And things that go easily beyond 100, like money. Distance. 마일, 미터, uh, rest of the world, including Korea, Asia, and Europe, and uh, beyond. They use, um, you know, metric system. So money, U.S. money, Korean money, any any money easily goes up over 100. You use Sino-Korean uh, number, weight, you know, same thing. Um, they use metric system. Weight easily goes over 100. Um, so we use Sino-Korean number, year in school. And what I should have included here is floor, okay? Order. 얼마 있어요? How much uh, money? 188불 or dollar 41 cent is okay? Cent is cent. Or sometimes we say ton. Ton is a Sino um Korean uh for uh cent. Obviously, uh dollar and cent are loan English loan words. All my soil. 27,520원 있어요. Okay. Um, so let's try to <laughs> translate this into English. 2만 is, uh, it says 2만, so 20,000, uh, 27,000, 27,521. Okay. 마라톤은 몇 마일이에요? How many miles is a marathon? Uh, when there's a point, it's 점. 26.2 마일이에요. Point is 점 in Korean. When you're reading a number. 몸무게가 어떻게 되세요? What does your weight happen to be? See, this is personal information. Okay. Uh, so not only personal, uh, but um, also you're probably asking this uh, from somebody older. But yeah, you this this is one of those things, touchy things. Uh, you know, asking for age, your weight. Uh, you should use uh, unless you're really really buddy buddies with them. Uh, what does your weight happen to be? Uh, point or Simplest way to answer a question: noun and yo or io. 몇 학년이에요? 1학년이에요? 3학년이에요? Junior, third year. Uh, there are some worksheets that are on the PowerPoint with numbers and counters. Uh, and uh, also, you know, PowerPoint, um, what is it? Um, activity that you can practice a uh, number and counter with. Please uh, make good use of it. 
And we already learned Leo to kind of give a casual, um, you know, proposal to ask, uh, do you want to do this or that? Or shall we do this or that? Ulkayo is it's much more polite than that. Okay, that is more considerate. Asking, shall we do this? Shall we do that? It's used with both verbs and adjectives. And it's not only asking, uh, shall we do this or that? But you're asking for somebody's opinion. Often when it's used with verb, it's like, shall we do this or that? But it could also be, do you think somebody is going to do this or that? Or somebody does this or that? Uh, and when you use it with adjective, it's asking for opinion. Do you think it's this way or that way? Obviously, it's not a proposal. When you propose to do something, it has to be a verb. But verb could be a proposal or asking for an opinion. And you use ulkayo to offer um you know, alternative choices. How we conjugate is very easy. Uh, if the verb or adjective ends in consonant, 을까요? 먹다 becomes 먹을까요? 안다 becomes 앉을까요? 좋다 becomes 좋을까요? Shall we eat? Shall we eat uh, something or and uh, should we sit down? Do you think something will be nice? Manada um, hadakuda, they all end in vowels. So you just put dir at the bottom um, of the, the base. Manakayo, shall we meet? Hekayo, bal hekayo, should we hada by itself? Hekayo, shall we do something? Manakayo is, should we uh, talk? Um, should we tell? 클까요? Do you think something will be large? And uh, deal ending, um, deal always causes grief. <laughs> uh, it's always irregular, almost always irregular. 살까요? You just leave it as it is and then treat it like a vowel because li is already, deal is already in there. Um, deal is what I like to call a consonant uh, that is thinks it's a vowel so it has a identity crisis sometimes it's not sometimes you know it, it but then a lot of the times we do little modification and ultimately you know believe it or not if the vowel rules uh apply alda okay there's a little it will be alcayo right but bolda to be far away is also irregular in do you think it's far away Okay. Um, yeah, RL final the uh, final consonant in verbs and adjectives. Um, it RL is probably the only uh, consonant that you can actually sound out. Um, I told you consonants are you know you, you can't you can't pronounce it unless you have it's accompanied by a vowel, right? But if I asked you to try to make out the R sound, you can go R like a pirate. And uh, that is why it's a vowel, but it is pretty darn close to, uh, it's a consonant, but it, it's, it's like a borderline uh, vowel. Let's practice some more. How do you say, shall we drink something? 마실까요? 먹다? 먹을까요? 먹을까요? Shall we buy something? 살까요? Shall we exercise? 운동 할까요? Uh, shall we give something, a present, 선물 줄까요? Shall we make an order? 주문 할까요? Do you think somebody's going to be okay? Something will be okay? 괜찮을까요? So if it's adjective asking for opinion, do you think it will be okay? Do you think something or some party somebody will be pretty? Tokkada is to be smart. Uh, so it's an adjective. Do you think somebody will be smart? Do you think it will be funny? Do you think it will make you laugh? This is irregular, pube irregular. So it becomes audio ulkayo. For so it doesn't mean um the base is pub, it's always irregular. One exception is uh chupta. 
and itta, chupta to be narrow and itta to wear. They're not irregular even if they, uh, be, you know, have pub underneath. You just say ibayo, chubayo. But um, usually, um, pub that has to do with whether, um, you, you know, there are certain type of uh, pub irregulars uh, to be close, um, kakapta, and what else? Um, to be difficult or, or easy, shipta, uh, uh they are this u pattern. Um, you take out the p up and add a whole new syllable u and then resume um, normal operation. We get rid of the p up from audio, so it's audio, and then you add u, audio u ends in a vowel, so audio ulkayo. That's the step in which uh, audio that becomes audio ulkayo. Um, we're going to review all this in Korean at the end of Korean to the, all the irregular patterns, but, um, just be mindful of these irregulars, please. Alda, alkayo. Do you think somebody knows? You can't really say, uh, shall we know? You either know or you don't. 오늘 바빠요? 내일 만날까요? Um, if you're, are you busy today? Then shall we meet tomorrow? 내일 퀴즈가 있어요. 오늘 공부할까요? There's a quiz tomorrow. Shall we study today? And you can say, uh, 같이, 같이 공부할까요? To emphasize that the activity will take, um, you know, it will be done together. This is opinion, asking for somebody's opinion. Romeo하고 Juliet이 다시 만날까요? Do you think they will meet together? Romeo and Juliet, do you, uh, will they meet together? Because it's not about us. You're asking about Romeo and Juliet. Quiz가 어떨까요? 힘들까요? How do you think the quiz will be like? Do you think it will be hard? Choices, giving, um, you know, offering choices. 불고기를 먹을까요? 갈비를 먹을까요? Shall we eat 불고기 or 갈비? You just um, repeat the most essential parts. Um, wondering, 불고기 맛있을까요? 갈비가 더 맛있을까요? Do you think 불고기 will be, you know, whether you're going to eat a or B will be dependent on whether A or B is more delicious, right? Do you think bulgogi is uh, d delicious or kaibi will be even more delicious? Paul is more. Ice cream, shall we eat ice cream? Ice cream, 먹을까요? You can ask, remember the other example was ice cream, 먹을래요? Um, it's just leo is a little bit more casual, okay? Uh, do you want ice cream? And it's more, ulkayo is a little bit more considerate. Shall we? That's what it literally means. Shall we? Leo is like, you wanna? Okay. Um, 친구 생일이에요? Uh, shall we call him? 전화할까요? 전화할까요? You wonder, because it's an adjective, right? Uh, 영화가 재미 있을까요? Do you think the movie will be interesting? 깜짝 파티. 깜짝 is, it's like surprise party. 깜짝 is like when, um, 깜짝 놀랐어요. You're like startled, okay? Um, shocked. Uh, do you think there's going to be a surprise party? Alternate choices. 주스 마실까요? 와인 마실까요? Should we have juice or wine? Opinion, right? 옷이 너무 클까요? Do you think the um, clothes will be too large? 가방이 너무 비쌀까요? Do you think it will be too expensive? Choices. 샤워할까요? 목욕할까요? Should I uh, take a shower or um, take a bath? 맛있을까요? Do you think uh, adjective? So asking, do you think uh, it will be delicious? 맛없을까요? Um, so three usages of, um, 을까요, shall we, if it's a verb and opinion can be either verb or adjective, you cannot suggest, uh, with adjective and choices, A or B. 수영장에 갈까요? Uh, shall we go to the pool? 냉정, 냉장고가 좋을까요? Do you think the refrigerator is good, nice? 햄버거를 먹을까요? 피자를 먹을까요? 먹을까요? Should we have A or B? Hamburger or pizza? Uh, 뭐 먹을까요? 영화 볼까요? 
verbs um, only, adjective or verb. Um, 시험이 힘들까요? Do you think the test will be difficult? It will be hard. 제니가 파티에 올까요? See, it's not about us. Um, do you think Jenny will come to the party? Choices. 한국어 할까요? 영어, 할, 영어 할까요? Should I speak in Korean or English? 커피를 마실까요? 차를 마실까요? Should we have coffee or tea? So how would you put this in 을까요 or 리을까요 form? Shall we sing? 노래 할까요? 노래 할까요? Shall I sing? Do you think she will sing? Um, 술 마실까요? 술 마실까요? Oops, sorry. Uh, 비디오 게임 할까요? Shall we play video game? 설거지 할까요? Should we do the dishes? 카페에 갈까요? 아침을 먹을까요? So all of these were um, shall we. Okay. Or it could be arguably like you're asking, do you think uh, they're going to drink? Do you think he's going to play video game? It depends on the context. Do you think he or she will do something or shall we? Uh, you know, if it's a, uh, if you put the optional 같이, then for sure it's a proposal. 같이 노래할까요? Shall we sing together? 같이 술 마실까요? Shall we drink together? 같이 아침 먹을까요? Shall we uh, eat breakfast together? How do you say, shall we eat bibimbap? Shall we go norebang? Shall we go to norebang? Pause this video here if you're uh, watching at home. Write down your answers. Do a mini translation using um, whatever reference that's necessary. Pause here and come back for um, answer. Repeat, um, pause to translate these uh, two sentences. Go fetch paper, your phone, whatever that's needed to translate this. Pause right now. I'm gonna reveal the answer in the next few seconds. Copy Hanjan Halkayo. Shall we have a cup of coffee? Uh shopping more sarami manikayo. Do you think there will be a lot of people at the shopping mall? Pibimpa Mogulkayo. Shall we have Pibimpa? Node Bange Kaikayo. A is optional. Node Bang Kaikayo because it's a very simple um proposal. So here is copy hanjan halkayo. Shall we have a cup of coffee? But uh, you, if you just say 한잔 할까요? It means shall we have a drink together? Usually cocktail or soju, like having um, drinking, consuming alcohol. Should we have a drink? Okay. Um, 한잔 할까요? It's to um, drink alcohol. Again, um, I'm going to please pause here and um, translate. I'll reveal the answers in the next few seconds. So pause and um, please translate. Hangugo Tongong Hakayo. Should I uh, major in Korean? Kachi Hangugo Tongong Hakayo is shall we major in Korean? Kongbu Hakayo, Taikayo. Should I study or sleep? This is the Korean dilemma. We're always asking, shall we have jajangmyeon or jampong? Because they're both everyone's favorite. And you don't have to make up your mind. You can have jamjamyeon. You can order half, half and half. And when it's summer, mulengmyeon, there's a fan of A or B. Mulengmyeon el mogul with the cold broth. Nengmyeon cold noodle with the uh, cold broth or it's slushy broth, right? Pibing nengmyeon el mogulkayo. Um, the mix with the sauce. Bulbimyeon is the answer. <laughs> you can have uh 
best of both worlds. And this is a hard one. You go to a Korean barbecue and they ask you, kimchi jjigae or denjang jjigae? Can only pick one, you guys. Kimchi jjigae ryeol mogeulkaeyo, denjang jjigae ryeol mogeulkaeyo. It's raining or it's cold. These are um, favorite snacks uh, when it's cold. These are street food. And the reason why they're so popular during the winter is uh, they're really hot. So uh, they're like little hot packs. If you, by holding them, um, you know, they give you, uh, you know, a sense of comfort and warmth. Some are pungopang. Uh, fans, some are hot dog. Hot dog is the flat stuffed pancakes with brown sugar and cinnamon and such inside. It's very drippy. Um, Another food that is, um, you know, associated with weather is uh, chun. So chun are usually savory pancakes, right? In um, Korean culture, we eat chun when it rains because they're like uh, savory pancakes, right? Uh, there's pajeon, a popular hemul pajeon, seafood, uh, green um, onion pancakes. And the reason why is because when you're frying ton, uh, it's the sound of oil splattering. That is to kind of um, remind you, uh, make you recall the, um, the splatter of the rain. Okay, the splatter of the rain is supposed to uh, make you want to eat ton because uh, when the ton is frying on the pan, it's the sound of the oil splattering. 그렇게 is to ask, um, like, is it to that ex extent? Is it that much? Like, it's also another kind of like, really? Really to that, that much? Okay, and you ask this question when it's beyond uh, what you had thought. Um, A asks B, BTS concert 투표 얼마예요? 150이에요. <laughs> this was a long time ago. Uh, it's 150, um, yeah. 150불이에요. 그렇게 비싸요? Is it that expensive? 네, 그런데 저는 표를 살래요. 네요, because I'm telling you, I'm going to buy no matter what you say. You say. I, that's my intention. So now they ask, 그렇게 BTS를 좋아해요. You like BTS that much? 네, 너무 좋아해요. Okay? Yes, um, I I like them too much. Uh, 그렇게, 그렇게, that much. Is it that expensive? You like them that much? Rebecca, she, 고양이가 아주 예뻐요. So she has all these cats. Uh, they're very pretty, Rebecca. 저는 고양이를 굉장히 좋아해요. I like cats very much. Uh, 고양이가 몇 마리 있어요? How many cats do you have? 다섯 마리 있어요. She's just like, oh, I have five. 그렇게 많아요. Uh, maybe um, A just saw one or two. She didn't see all five of them on the couch. Uh, you have that many. Okay. 그렇게 맛있어요. Is it that delicious? You know, looking at the picture. Okay. Uh, 그렇게 웃겨요. Like they're laughing uh, to the point of, you know, tears. Is it that funny? You're asking. 그렇게 착해요. Like they're angels. Um, are they that nice? And on the right, what would it be, you guys? 그렇게 매워요. Is it that spicy? 그렇게 예뻐요. 우리 잘생겼어요. Are they that pretty, that attractive? 그렇게 많이 운동해요. You exercise that much? 그렇게 한국말 잘해요. Um, he speaks Korean that well. Uh, or you can even say 그렇게 돼요. 그렇게 돼요. Uh, so is that what happens in the drama? Remember, 되다 is a counterpart of 하다. Uh, 그렇게 해요 means uh, do you do it? That's, is that what you do? But 되요 is like passive, right? Things just happening. Is that what happens? Okay. That, that's, is that what um, is 
that develops in the drama. It's a um, it's a romance, right? So oh, and then they start going out together, right? Is that what happens in the drama? That's it for um, lesson ten.